To share with you about going from average to utmost. See, God has called us to an utmost life. And uh, there's nothing about God that's average. And in fact, um, uh, I, I debated whether we were going to call it from average to utmost or from average to extreme. And, and we'll share why in just a moment, because, uh, because God is extreme. And, and what happens, and, and what the Lord dealt with me about is far too often we settle with average in our life. We, we, sever, we settle with the average and with the mediocre in so many areas of our lives. That we, we set, as Christians, we settle too often with underachievement. If you want to talk about the area of, of achievement and goals and things of that nature. But you know what? God has not called you and I to be average. He's called, the call of the Christian is the call of the extreme life. And, and, and you see, extreme kind of makes us a little bit unsettled because usually we think of extreme in a negative sense, don't we? We oh, don't, don't be extreme or don't, don't go too far. But when you really look at Jesus' lifestyle, he went extreme. You see, too often what we have done is we've created a tame Jesus. A, 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 a tame Jesus that we can form in our image and in our likeness. That we can become nice and civil and moral and, 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 and good, but, but, but not too far. And, and I believe that's one of the greatest problems in your life or my life or in the church in general, that in too many cases we've just been just, just, just good enough, nice, cool, okay. But yet the call of Jesus is an extreme call. It's a call to utmost living. When you look at this in the word of God, and I believe that that'll cause, you see, the Christian church, the church, you and I, we were not meant to just simply be good, nice, moral, upright people. Amen. Amen. Now, listen, we are meant to be good, nice, moral, upright people. Are you listening to me? But that isn't the end game. Amen. Jesus wasn't just a good, nice, moral, upright person. Jesus' life brought revolutionary change. Oh, yes, it did. He wasn't just a good, nice person. Good, nice people don't get crucified. They don't kill good, nice people. If Jesus was a good, just, just simply a good, nice person, they never would have crucified him. No, Jesus was a revolutionary. But he was a revolutionary with the heart of God. For mercy, for love, for forgiveness. He was extreme in his love, extreme in his forgiveness, extreme in his goodness, extreme as a deliverer, extreme as one who cared for the brokenhearted. He was extreme about his passion for the outcast. He was an extreme God. He is. And he's called us to that kind of lifestyle. He's called us from average to utmost. And I believe what the world needs to see and before that what you and I need to see among one another, are utmost Christians. Christians who live an utmost lifestyle. In the gospel according to John, chapter 10, in verse 10, I didn't know how I was going to teach or preach this, so we're just going to go for it today. And uh, the gospel according to John, chapter 10, in verse 10, let's read it together. Ready, read. For the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I am come that they might have life and that they might have it, how? More abundantly. Notice Jesus says, I am come. The reason that I'm come is that they might have life and that they might have it, how? More abundantly. He didn't just say abundantly. He said more abundantly. The Amplified says this, the thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. But I came that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full until it overflows. You see, the nature of the Christian life is to be one of extreme and abundance in every category. Every category. Every ca That's the nature of the Christian life. 
Often we, we uh, well, let me, let, me, let, me, let me stay on this point for a minute. Now look at that. That they might have life and have it how? More abundantly. The Amplified says might have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full until it overflows. Jesus is stating one of the reasons why he came. So that they that follow him would have life and overflowing. What that means is not average. What Jesus just described in John 10.10 10 is that they might have utmost living. Utmost marriage. Utmost job. Utmost business. Utmost in their, in their walk with God. Utmost in their ministry. Utmost in their physical body. Amen. Utmost in every area of their life. Amen. Utmost living. That's what he's called us to. Amen. He's called us to be average. And you see, what happens is if we don't watch it, the, then the culture around us will set the standard for how we're to live. Amen. And it will set the standard for our expectations. Amen. Amen. And often, of course, we relegate this to, uh, often we, we, we highlight the point that God wants us to, to live an a, a abundant life. But, I, but I'm talking about, and we're going to see, man, he's talking about every area of our life till it overflows. Let's go over to, uh, let's look at the Lord for a moment and Psalm, let's go to the Psalms and look at how God is an utmost God. He's an extreme God. Let me give you some definitions. Here's a definition for the word average. The word average means having qualities that seem as typical or particular of a person or a thing. Having qualities that's are, that uh, are seen as typical or of a particular person or thing. Average means of the usual or ordinary standard, level, or quality. Again, average means of the usual or ordinary standard, level, or quality. Average also means another synonym is mediocre. Do you know the word mediocre is a very interesting word? Uh, well, the Latin root for the word mediocre is part of the Latin root means middle, but it also has a connotation or a connection with the mountain. And literally, it means halfway up the mountain. That's literally what the word mediocre means. And you know, God has called all of us to different spheres or mountains. And he didn't call you to be mediocre. He didn't call you to go halfway up the mountain. He's called you to utmost living. He's called you to utmost living, praise God. And so there's certain attitudes we have to have to have utmost living, to be an utmost Christian, because we serve an utmost God. And he's called us to be utmost children of an utmost God, not average children, because he's not an average God. Let's look at some of the Psalms. Let's, uh, let's march through some of the Psalms. Psalm number 48. Psalm number 48. And uh, we'll look at stanza one or verse one. Psalm number 48 and verse one. It says, great is the Lord and what? Greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Now, here's what the word uh, utmost means. Write this down. The word utmost means most extreme. It also means greatest, greatest, most extreme and greatest. And the word extreme means reaching a high or the highest degree, very great. Reaching a high or the highest degree, very great. And so when Jesus says, I am come, that those who come after and follow me might have life. Now, when he says life, you know, that's a big word, life. Because life, to me, when I read that, that means everything. I mean, because, like, your life is everything you do, are, and what's going on with you 24-7. 
So, I mean, think about what goes on with you 24-7, 365, every area of your life. He says, I'm come that they might have life, yes, but have life in all of those areas more abundantly, which means there's a, there's a one, there's a life before Christ. And then there's a level of living in Christ that's called utmost living. It, it, it's, it's, it's a quality of life. It's a quality of the soul. It's a quality of the outlook. It's a quality of the, of the attitude of the heart. Yes, it has impact and effect in your natural world too. It will affect the quality, certainly standard of, of, of blessing and, and things and provision and, and, and opportunities that you walk in. But I want you to understand that utmost living abundant life is a quality of life. It's the quality of soul that enables you to walk in peace and strength and joy and love and see life from an empowered position. It's the quality of life that no matter what happens to you and what goes in your day, you're, you're, the joy of the Lord is your strength. That's what I'm talking. That's abundant life. But till it overflows, it, it means having a surplus of life. When, when you have abundant life, when you have a surplus of life, somebody can take from you, but you still got enough. It's an abundance of joy that when your life takes a hit, your joy account has not been deplete. It, it, it's, a, it's an abundance of the health of God, divine life flowing in your body so that when the enemy or the elements of this broken down world try to touch your body and affect your body, there's an abundance of the Zoe life of God that overcomes that situation. It's abundant life. It's abundance of life. It's abundance of life. This stuff will jump over in your marriage. So much so that when, when, when there's abundant life, it, it, it's an utmost marriage. It's not an average marriage. The average marriage is divorce, 50%. The average marry, uh, marriage, uh, they tolerate, but they don't enjoy. And some of the average marriage just goes along and gets along. And when, when the children get out of college, you know, uh, we go our way. That's average. Yeah, that's right.